This is the KM Ekranoplan. KM meaning prototype. The KM was a massive low-flying craft that flew barely 60 feet over the water. The Akrana plan was the brainchild of Rostislav Alexeyev, a brilliant and visionary hydrofoil designer who'd long dreamed of boats that flew. Alexeyev dazzled Khrushchev with the military potential of his ideas and was given a green light to build one of the largest flying machines the world had ever seen. Alexeyev was a pioneer in the development of hydrofoils. Alexeyev proposed what would be a technological marvel, a fleet of enormous flying ships that would exploit some of the most revolutionary aerodynamic fields. Alexeyev's solution was to put massive engines at the front of the fuselage. Their powerful exhausts would be blown under the wings, creating a temporary hovercraft. As speed increased, the entire ship would lift out of the water and ground effect would take over. After six years of costly development, the KM was rolled out of its hangar in Gorky and sent down the river Volga to its testing site on the Caspian Sea. On October the 11th, 1966, it made its first flight. Dmitry Garbuzov and Vitaly Peshinov were the pilot and co-pilot. Alexeyev sat between them, controlling the engine. The eight front engines roared to life, propelling the KM forward and out of the water. At 540 tons, it was 150 tons heavier than the future Boeing 747 and larger than a B-52. The tail was five stories high. It was by far the biggest and heaviest creation ever to take off. For Dmitry Garbuzov, the test pilot, it was a memorable day. Everyone was amazed by how such a cumbersome contraption could fly. The first flight was a resounding success and hopes ran high for the KM's military applications. Later tests proved it could fly at more than 400 miles an hour. There were no press announcements of the KM's maiden flight or any other Ikranoplan flight. Everything about it was hidden behind an impenetrable veil of secrecy.
deployment troop carrier. Because it was amphibious, it could land directly on enemy shores. But with regard to the condition of the sea, tide, underwater obstacles or mines. The second was the loom, which traveled at 300 miles an hour. It was designed to carry anti-ship missiles that could attack American carrier task forces. 